Jeff Binks is here this morning with some ways to warm up on a cold day like today. You get super giddy about this type of weather. I love this weather. This is what Western New York's all about. You know, this is in Florida. This is Buffalo. Man. It's supposed to be cold. It's supposed to be hearty. That's what makes us such hearty people, right? You can have some hearty soups to oh, warm you exactly. up. Exactly. And that's why I look forward to this time of year. When the weather starts to change, so do our menus. Yeah. You know, I mean, cucumber soup in the summertime is a lot of fun, but do you really love cucumber soup? I, mean, I, I don't know that I've ever had cucumber soup. Yeah, it's, you this know, it's, it's fine for a certain time of year. This is when we want to really make some powerful dishes. I love bean soups for this time of year. A nice white bean makes a beautiful and delicious soup. You can soak these dried beans for about 24 hours in the refrigerator with water. They will get nice and soft and then right into your soup. Nothing wrong with doing canned though either. It's a very, very easy thing to do. These two, very, very basic, super easy to make. Saute a little bit of pepper, onion, celery, some carrot. Put your beans in the soup. That acts as your thickening agent. You can add a little bit of chicken stock, some beef stock. Oh, nice. and you have a wonderful start. This one has sort of a tortilla flavor to it. Like I've added some salsa, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of jalapeno peppers. I like to garnish this with a little bit of tortilla chips. You could certainly go some sour cream with something like that. Yum. And some spinach makes it very nice. Over so it's hearty, but it's not like. Yeah, that one's not. These doesn't are the, sit with you. Yeah, the, the, the white beans are definitely lighter. This one, though, I love. This one's a super heavy duty soup. You've had your mom's split pea soup before. You said, ah, it's not really for me. It's not, I don't really like it. Yeah. This is a great way to go. Black bean done the same way. Soak your beans, cook them with a little bit of a celery, carrot, and onion. Once again, a little bit of beef stock in this one, just because I think it adds a really, really nice flavor. Spice it up. Right. This with some sour cream as a garnish. Again, there you go. Uh, a little bit of extra fresh black beans right on top of there, or excuse me, rehydrated back black beans, I should say. That makes a really nice dish. That's heavier. That's a great one to have with one of those sandwiches. This is my, my all-time winner, though, right here. Okay, so Butter I'm grating some cheese yeah, for this. Yeah, grate some cheese for that one. That's an Adirondack sharp cheddar cheese. Absolutely delicious. Um, I have some apples here. We went through a couple weeks ago where we uh, got all of our apples for the season. And I put some of them in the smoker. So we have a butternut squash soup with some smoked dried apples and that sharp cheddar cheese. That tastes like Christmas morning. It tastes like Thanksgiving morning, your birthday, and everything all wrapped in. It's all line. of the holidays it's all in of a bowl. The holidays <laughs> in a bowl. Absolutely and, delicious. And the flavors of fall. All right. Oh, we love it, Binks. Absolutely. Binks. Some great ideas. We'll all